Good morning, everybody. Well, today is canning day. Yes, the party is beginning. We've got tons of cucumbers coming in from the garden, and I've got my different types of uh, seasonings that we're going to be using. We'll be using the, the um, let's see, dill. The first one, we are fixing bread and butter pickles. And we are going to start with eight cups of vinegar. That's our first step. And this is four cups right here. Eight. Now our next ingredients will be seven cups of sugar. Now that's for the bread and butter. Zesty. Then our next ones will be dill pickles. And our sugar is over here. Okay, we need seven cups of sugar. This is four right here. And three more. Three more cups of sugar. They got the ridges. I'll show you the ridges. See the little ridges? They smell good, don't they? I have help. I got my mom and my sister coming. And We'll put the whole pack of this in there. All right, and I always add fruit fresh, just a little. I always add a little bit of mixture. Well, that one's not open. I know I got a couple open. Open. Okay, now I'm going to kind of stir the mixture. Now this is for the sweet pickles right there now. Well, you have to use a lot of sugar. You see our jars are boiling over here. And our lids. And this pan will be for our dill. We'll get our dill started. We'll just let that cook a little bit. And we'll use one of our little Amish rags for dish cloths we get. Okay, now for our dill pickle mix. Dill pickle mix, we need uh, three and a half cups. Okay, three and a half cups of vinegar. Seven and a half cups of water. Boy, that's not much, okay. Three and a half cups of vinegar. Water, that's four. Um. Yes, and three more. <laughs> get it in and get it fast or it, it goes bad fast. Okay, that is seven cups of water and vinegar. Now for our mix, and here's our, our dill pickle mix. Okay, oh boy, that smells, that smells, okay. The sweet and the deal. Okay, I am getting my jars out now. I pull them. 
I'll set them all out. See, that's the sweet. And this will be the deal. We have leftovers. A little jar. Okay. Now we're all set up. Let's see him right there. Okay. We've got to let the sweet, spicy, sweet pickle a little longer. It's got to start boiling. Okay, guys, we have got the sweet pickles in and some dill. And I am a uh, Pulling out some right over here. And we got more help come. So we're still working on it. Those are pretty. All right, guys, I have finished. And I've got dill and sweet pickles. There you go. All righty. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back. Thanks for stopping at the farm. Bye-bye. All right, guys, I'm showing you my tomatoes. No, I know you all are thinking they're not ripe. These guys got so big. Let me show you over here. Uh, on the vine, that they were laying on the ground, and they were rotting too fast. But look at this compared to my finger. Look. These are huge. Some of these are huge. So, I had to get them off the vine because they were so big. And they'll turn on the porch. So, I said, oh my. And there's still thousands on the, on the tomato plants. It's just I had to take all of these guys off because they were so big. See, I'm going to line them up. Okay, and here's my squash, and see, I mean, look at this tomato. I mean, that's your normal size. Look at this. They're huge. All right. So this is why you plant flowers around your, your plants and stuff to pollinate. You see the little honeybees? They love it. And then they pollinate your trees. And you want your honeybees. He'd be so proud. There he is. Aww. And here are my marigold plants. Flowers, they're coming up. They'll be budding here soon. Oh my goodness. I'm walking through here trying not to step on nobody. There, see the... The big sunflower. They're beautiful. Look at that one up there. Wow. But yeah, he tied these down so they wouldn't fall over because they're so huge. Then we got pumpkins starting over there. See the pumpkin? There we go. And they're climbing all the way across. Look at this little guy. You see him? Right there. That's those big old long watermelons. He'll be a big old boy one day. All right, guys, I am completely dirty and sweaty. Tomatoes all over me. So we are going to call this an evening and we'll see you back at the farm. Hopefully next time we will be canning because it's coming in big time now. All right, guys. Bye-bye.